Hi everyone, another small quick test. Here we have a 400 volt uh, capacitor and that capacitor has a capacitance of 0.272 around that. So uh, that's 0 0.272 microfarads. All right. So we'll do a test with that. So right now I'll pause the camera and I'll resolder my wire here on this switch and uh, we'll do the test. Okay, I've now resoldered the uh, wire back to the uh, switch right there. And uh, what this uh, test will be is I'm going to use the grid 240 volt grid voltage to feed this uh, capacitor right now. I've got a full wave bridge rectifier on top there and uh, I've got my voltmeter connected across that capacitor so we have 327 volts DC there once it's rectified and here we have a single pull single throw switch and what, ha what happens is the way I've got it wired up is when the switch is up this capacitor is charged okay this is breaking the positive side or whatever um, this capacitor is getting charged all right and when I put the switch down this capacitor is disconnected and then this capacitor now discharges to that yellow lead which comes to the coil here now I'm uh, trying to establish if there is any benefit over unity benefit in this particular adding magnets and I'm actually going to be doing two things in this uh, um, test here and if some of you followed my work I've also posted a couple of years back as well uh, that uh, using uh, flyback and using a diode and redirecting the uh, coil collapsing feel back into the coil uh, by just adding a diode in the reverse order that you're sending the pulse uh, to the coil you'll get uh, more activity from the coil so we're going to use two things here we're going to use adding magnets here's a magnet stack that I'll be connecting on top there and also using the flyback diode so these two effects combined uh, I think makes something very efficient and once somebody can calculate all the math here uh, then we'll figure out if this uh, has uh, over unity potential. Now uh, the coil uh, setup and all that could become more efficient if I had stronger magnets but I'm using all salvage magnets from uh, computer hard drives, old computer hard drives that I took these out and cut them in half and stacked them all up. That's about all that I have for now. So, uh, But if you add more uh, magnet power uh, this thing becomes more powerful as I have de demonstrated. Okay, so um, what I'll do right now is, okay, we've got our 326 volt charging that's charged our 0.27 volt capacitor right there. And now I'm going to push that switch down and it's going to uh, go to this coil. And I'll place the camera there so you can see if it, there's any activity. That's it, absolutely no activity. Charge the capacitor again, switch down, no activity. All right, so now what I'll do is, uh, um, uh, whoops, <laughs> I'm gonna add magnets here. And I have to reconnect my wires here in the back. They came off. These are just for the flyback diode. Okay, the other thing I forgot to mention here is we're going to use the weight of this uh, coil here, which is about 115 to 120 grams. Okay, now that I added these clips here, I believe it would be in the 120 gram uh, area. All right, so now what we've done, we've got our flyback diode disconnected. We've just basically added this stack of magnets to it. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, do the test again. I'm going to flip, flip the switch, same voltage, and let's have a look and see if there's any movement. Nothing. All right. The click you're hearing is the switch being flipped.
lift up back and forth. All right, so now I connect my flyback diode. And now let's give it a try. And now you can hear the coil going up. All right, I don't know if the camera is going to be capable of catching it. I don't know if there's enough frames, but uh, from my visual eye, I can see the coil going up. I'll go down now. Up. Charging the capacitor. There, I discharged the capacitor. Up. Charged. I'm trying to give you maybe a little bit of a reference line here. See if you could line it up, line it up with the magnets there on the bottom. Okay, charge the capacitor. Now I'm going to discharge. Okay. So now the uh, power of that little capacitor is lifting just ever so slightly the coil off. So basically, uh, right now, this setup uh, with these combined things, the flyback diode and the uh, magnets uh, together, are capable of just momentarily lifting the coil up. You, you obviously can hear it now. I'll put it close. Do it again. Again. And again for the last time. Okay, so that little click, that's basically the coil coming up momentarily and coming down. So with that little capacitance, we are capable of lifting about 115 to 120 uh, grams. So if somebody can do the math with uh, that voltage, about uh, 325 volts charged to this capacitance, 0 0.270, uh, that would be the amount of energy that it took to lift uh, that 120 uh, uh, grams. Thanks for watching. Bye now.